Hi and welcome to MRTV. You're looking at through the lens footage of the HP Reverb G2 in half resolution mode. Yes, it looks so good and still significantly better than what the Rift S is offering. And in this video, I'm going to show you more through the lens footage of X-Plane 11, of Project Cars 2 and more of Alex. Now, this video should especially be interesting for all of you who don't have a strong GPU, like for example, the GDX 1060, 1070 or 1660. Because with all of these GPUs, you will not be able to run the G2 in full resolution mode, but half resolution mode is possible and it looks really good. So absolutely stay tuned because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of all the VR headsets, of all the VR accessories and you're getting the latest news. So if you want more videos just like this one, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. This video should be especially interesting for all the owners of the following GPUs because HP says that with these GPUs you can run the G2 at half resolution. And for the consumer area, that is NVIDIA GeForce GDX 1060, GDX 1660, GDX 1660 Ti and I believe also the 1660 Super but I think they have just forgotten it here. GDX 1070, RDX 2060 and for AMD it's the Radeon RX 580, RX 5500 XT, RX 590, RX 5600 XT, RX Vega 56 and the RX Vega 64. Now without further ado, let's have a look at the through the lens videos. And we start here with the ROV test environment. So this is half resolution mode with the G2 and still it looks pretty good. Now with the full resolution mode, I can still read the last line, line number 11, but here this is gonna be tough. Anyways, let's zoom in a bit in this video and let's have a closer look. Now, what I want you to have a look at is the red text. And the second line, it actually says Vive Pro. So I want you to remember this and we're going to compare this now. This is the full resolution mode. This is the G2 at the full resolution mode. Let's also zoom in and also check the second line. And here I believe that you can more easily read that it actually says Vive Pro. Let's directly compare the two and here it becomes very obvious on the right full resolution mode on the left half resolution mode. But now let's check x 11. As you can tell here, Steam VR super sampling at 50%. So only half the resolution. And well, how does it look? Let's check it out together. This is x 11. And well, as you can tell, it still looks pretty good. It still looks really good. You can still read the gauges. Okay, not as good as with full resolution mode, but I believe that for many coming from the Rift S, for example, this will still be better. And then of course, if you do get a better GPU, a faster GPU, probably you're waiting for the 3000 series coming up later this year, then well, everything will look better. And we're going to have a look at the full resolution mode here in X-Plane in a moment. But first let's zoom in here as well a bit. Remember this part here, we're going to compare it with the full resolution mode in a moment. All right, this is the full resolution mode of the G2 and yeah, it is just so good. It is very close to photorealism and for all of you sim fans, you're going to love the G2 so much. So for sure, here you can absolutely see the difference between full resolution mode and half resolution mode. Let's now also zoom in on the same gauge here. So here it is. And yeah, you can really easily read all the numbers here. Let's see it in the direct comparison now. On the right, the full resolution mode, and on the left, the half resolution mode. But now you also want to see the Rift S. I know this is the Rift S. So this is how x 11 looks in the Rift S with 100% super sampling. But well, now it competes against the 50% super sampling of the G2. So this is how it looks in the Rift S. On the right now, the G2 and on the left, the Rift S. And in my opinion, you can more easily read the G2 gauge here. 
Okay, now let's have a look at Project Cars 2. What you see here is the G2 through the lens in half resolution mode. And as you can tell, it looks good. It looks really good and you will have lots of fun with this even in half resolution mode. Uh, but yeah, you still don't want to meet me on the Autobahn. But jokes aside, I did buy a racing wheel now and also a racing seat. So I'm going to unbox and check it out here on the channel really soon. All for Project Cars 3, which is coming up really soon. And I'm very much looking forward to play this in the G2 at full resolution. So here even at half resolution, you're going to have a good time in the G2. And well, it's still the same. You still have this amazing comfort. You still have the amazing audio. You still have great colors, so yeah, it's good. So what you see here now is the G2 at full resolution, just to make you remember how good it looks in the G2 at full resolution. You will be able to simply upgrade to this once you upgrade your GPU and then you can enjoy these kind of beautiful visuals in the HP Reverb G2. Now, if you also want to see this in the Rift S, please do check my Project Cars 2 through the lens video and I'm going to link it here. All right, but now we're going to look at Half-Life Alex. So yes, finally, a glove again, a glove that I can show here on the channel. And this is the G2 in half resolution. Still looks great, absolutely. And I'm sure that you're also going to have a great time in Half-Life Alex with half resolution mode. Let's check out another scene here, or actually the same scene, but with the other hand. And well, the shotgun looks good. You see lots of details here closing in. And in general, I'm sure you're going to have a good time. So also here in half resolution mode, you don't see screen door effect. And well, it's the same panel, right? So that simply makes lots of sense that you also don't have screen door effect, even though the resolution might not be as high, but anyways, you still have all these pixels and therefore you have the high fill factor and therefore you don't have screen door effect. So yeah, it is a good combination. Now for this half resolution mode, of course, if you really look closely at the weapon, you will see some jagged edges and you will see it's not as good as the full resolution, but it's still really good. And I believe that you can see that in this through the lens video here. So the HP Reverb G2, still my big recommendation for you. Should you pre-order this in my personal opinion? Yes, because I don't think that if you make a spontaneous decision to buy this, I don't think you're going to get one. I'm pretty sure it's going to be sold out and that you'll have to wait weeks or even months for this. Now, I've also made a video about the five reasons not to pre-order or buy this and watch this video before you order just to make sure that you know about all the cons of this device because it also does have a few cons and you should be aware of them. So for me, I can't wait to get a production unit. As you know, I have this pre-production unit, which is okay, but well, I can't wait to get the final one with everything being final. And then of course, I'm going to give you more videos and the final review with all my final conclusions. But even for this pre-production model, I can absolutely recommend this device to you. At the end of this video, let's do another side-by-side -side comparison on the right in full resolution and on the left in half resolution. And well, yeah, it does look more lifelike in full resolution, but I think the half resolution is still really good. And that's it for the through the lens footage. As you could tell, visuals are still great, even at half resolution with the G2. And that is really amazing news for all of you who don't have a GDX 1080, but who have one of those GPUs that I've read out in the beginning of this video. So really good and even still looking better than the Rift S, for example, because you absolutely cannot see screen door effect here because the panel still is the same. So really, really good news for all of those who don't have the latest GPU. You can first use your current GPU and then later you can always upgrade to a better GPU because I'm telling you, you do want to see the full resolution mode. That is simply stunning. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about this half resolution mode? Is it good enough for you? And probably did these through the lens videos give you enough confidence to pre-order or buy the G2 even though you don't have the latest GPU? Please do let me know in the comment section below. That's it for this video. I really hope it could provide value to you and it was helpful. If yes, give it a 
thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, and you would, if you would like to see more videos just like this one, then absolutely subscribe and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. That's it, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.